Yeah, what up, for people, viewers, and subscribers? You're welcome back again. This is Toby VI Channel One. The governor of Abia State is not matching break in delivering good governance to the people of Abia State. The man now talk and do. This one is not an audio promise. When he visits the church, I made a declaration that before the end of the day, pensioners will begin the receive alert. Take a look. Some of you have been doing this since 2014. By the end of the day, all of you will smile by the end of the day. So don't forget to check your account by the close of business today. You will see what I have done to your account. So, my Lord Bishop, thank you very much for this opportunity. Like I said, I won't speak for too long. I just want to bless this congregation and bless God. Uh -huh. When I see him, now, it is followed by the testimony and the prayers coming from pensioners who already have received the alert. Use this opportunity to thank our able governor. The only governor who has done us well since 1991 when I retired. This is the only time I have enjoyed my retirement benefits. I thank you. You've done well. God bless you. All about you, God will bless you. Amen. Your kingdom will reign forever Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. I praise you. You have done well. May the Almighty God help you to continue in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. He, wants to say, he said he wants to bless you by himself. So that's why I said he should say it by his mouth. Thank you, Your Governor, uh, Your Excellency, for what you have done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wonderful. Now, I must tell you, India Bia State, congratulations. When people batter me and call me all manner of names, say I come on the social media, I shout too much. <laughs> That because Nigeria don't they hear, me. so I need to shout it so that it goes sink into the Amedola of Blangada. Say if you no get involved in the ballot revolution, if you continue to say you no concern you, my people, we will continue to suffer bad governance. Thank God for the other state that participated in that ballot revolution. You can imagine if it were business as usual, what in that best state would have been suffering till today? Which other state should we liberate in Igbo land? My people suggest to me, we know of Igbo state, that one, that one they have to, you know, I would I say bear the consequences of their gullibility in allowing themselves to be manipulated by that man, the hopeless situation in Emo State. Will you, will you, will you say whose fault is that? When you say, oh, you, it can never happen. It is not possible. It is not possible to remove corrupt politicians. And some will even go to the point of telling me, eh, we should leave everything until Biafra comes before we start having good governance in Igbo land. And because of that, they call me one Nigerianist. You know, one day I'm one Nigerianist because I want the good of my people. From now, because we are living in Biafra land, there is no two ways about it. You don't need a dictation to know that the South is go, 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 Igbo land, go, 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 is Biafra land. You don't need a dictation to achieve that. We are in Biafra land and nobody can change that. And we are Biafras in Biafra land. But the problem with my people is that they have been beclouded with sentiment. And when we talk about good governance in Igbo land, they call me one Nigerianist. Would you call Ndiabia State one Nigerianist by electing and insisting on Alice Oti? Today, they are reaping the benefit. So I keep asking, which other state should we liberate? In the Southeast. 
even in Anambra State that we are, we still hope that they continue in the line of competition with Alex Oti. We want Enugu State to join in that competition. We want Ebony State to join in that competition. I don't want to call Imo State. No, not about Vivo no Metal. <laughs> for allowing that hopeless situation to continue in Imo State, it will last for another four years. So, that is just what I'm trying to bring. I'm not trying to mock anyone who, in the past, because of bad information or wrong information or sentiment, you know, was against ballot revolution in Igbo land to start with. I'm not here to taunt you or to mock you. I'm here to tell you that we will begin to demonstrate good governance in Igbo land by getting involved and not by standing on the sideline because sentiment will not fix our school, will not fix our road, will not pay our fathers and our mothers their pensions. We don't fix our schools and the hospitals. Sentiment will not do that for us. What will do that for us is for us to get involved. And GGM is spreading this message. I just hope my people will embrace this truth because this truth will set us free. What's your take on this? Drop it on the comment section and help me share it if you believe in this message. Bye-bye for now.